Good morning. It's been a while since we've talked. Um, it's Frederick here. And can you hear the birds in the back? I, uh, I like to have a little bird music in the morning when I have coffee. Morning to you might be 9 a.m., 7 a.m., but for me, morning is like 3 in the afternoon because I spend a lot of my night making muffins, muffins, bagels, and uh, when you're a graveyard baker, you got to sleep during the day when you can and work all night making donuts. So it's been a while since we've talked and I just wanted to connect on a specific topic. Um, oh, so basically it's been about a week since I've uh, been regularly daily uploading videos. I had to slow down because I just got too crazy of a schedule going on with uh, the show we're doing, The Rock of Ages. And I think once the show is done, the last show is April 29th, then I'm going to do like a little montage video of what the experience was like. But here's the thing that I've been learning. The cool thing about theater is, I mean, it's organic, it's alive. Theater lives and breathes and it has, you know, uh, an element to it that's unlike television or film. You know, because you can always call cut and redo something. But when you have a live audience and you're all out on stage and in a play we're doing called The Rock of Ages, it's a musical. I mean, you have the musicians, the band is playing, you know, people are singing, we have dancers. We have actors and, you know, there's a lot of moving parts. And what is cool is to see this show come together with so many moving parts. It's, it's awesome. But we'll talk more about that in later videos. Another cool thing is you really become like a, maybe the word is family or, or like a team. You know, you all have a role to play. And when you know your role, you you want to do the best job you can do. And if everybody does the best that they can do at whatever part they're doing, big or small, it makes the whole production, it makes the whole show like something incredible. I love it. And last night I got to talk to one of my uh, cast mates. You know, we we're backstage before the show, just relaxing, getting ready. And, uh, you know, we talked about life, you know, and one of the things that struck me was you know, it's a great place to meet people, to become friends, and to, you know, get to know somebody at a deeper level, you know, when you're part of something that's bigger than just you, you know, and that's what theater is, that's what teams are, clubs, dance troops, you know, bands, whatever group you're a part of, I think it just makes life a little bit better, you know, knowing that you're part of something. I love that, you know, and I think about this at a deeper level, you know, the world's a big place, but it ain't that big, you know, and in light of the fact that humanity seems to be struggling at the best of times, you know, to get along with each other, and in terms of the fact that there are enough riches and resources on this planet for everybody to be really taken care of and yet power hungry money hungry status hungry greedy people um make life difficult for others you know i look at this when i sit here in this room look at that it says love you know it says love serves all it says love disarms it says love is stronger than anger. It says love is from above. I got that painting uh, from a conference I went to years ago. You know, and ultimately, I, I do believe in the big guy upstairs. And uh, I think that's where love comes from. You have a love that's given to you from 
you know, this supernatural force outside of yourself. But it's a love that compels you to do things to make the world a better place. You know, that's what I love about acting, about theater. You know, it's something I enjoy doing. It, I come alive on stage, you know. It gives me an opportunity to, you know, tell a story. And the reason I love stories is because you learn lessons of life. You learn about yourself, you know, inside another person's story. You have highlights on your own life, and the cool thing is you can make adjustments. You know, you watch a movie, you watch a production on stage, a theater, a play, and and, and you start to ask yourself questions about your own life, you know. And, uh, and I think love being a, a topic that we need to explore more and more. You got to have love for yourself, you know, and then, and then you got to have love for other people. And, and it has to be a healthy love, not a love that's manipulative or self-serving, but a love that wants to serve others, a love that is desiring to make life better for somebody else. And when the play closes, it'll be sad, but I'm going to keep you updated. I'll talk to you here in a little bit. Um, I just heard a friend of mine knocking at the door. I'll be right back. And we're back. So, uh, Debbie just got home. And I think we'll cut this video a little bit short. But uh, for those of you that have uh, been tuning into this channel called Ruah is the breath of life. Remember, this is what it is. Just a fancy word that means breath of life, breath of God. And whatever you do every day, you get up and you live life to the fullest. I mean, make a decision every day that somehow you're not going to waste the time you've been given for this day. There'll, there'll be no guarantee on tomorrow. Yesterday is gone. So you have an opportunity to make the most of the time you have today. So I'll be in touch again soon. Uh, there are some videos I have to edit and I want to put up and upload. And basically, we're just kind of waiting for the Rock of Ages right up there to wrap. Once the Rock of Ages wraps, there'll be uh, an opening in my schedule to do more YouTubing, more videoing. Because uh, I like to go downtown every week and uh, spend some time with the homeless and drop into the drug treatment centers uh, where I know some people there and participate in some of the things they're doing to make the world a better place and um, and get back to doing some more uh, cool little YouTube videos. Uh, until then, uh, I'll be in touch. God love you. Remember, put your slippers far under the bed when you go to bed at night and uh, when you get up in the morning and you go grab them, you say... Thank you to the big guy upstairs for the gift of life. All right, talk to you later.